Hello Buckeye Nation! The season is over, the games have all been played, and even though we didn't get the outcome that we all wanted, there is still so much to be grateful for. Let's dig into it. Welcome to Buckeye Football Fangirl. I started this channel as a way to connect with fellow Buckeye fans and to get you pumped up for the Ohio State football games this year. Well, we reached the end of the season and there won't be any more football games for a while. That's right, we have the next eight months to process and reminisce on this crazy and tumultuous 2020 football season before the next kickoff. During this off season, I won't be producing as many shows as I did during this season, but I do have some ideas that I'll be working on and posting up every few months. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button with the bell icon and you'll be notified as soon as those drop. And while you're at it, give me a follow on Twitter if you're on there, as I love connecting with fellow Buckeye fans and conversing about all the latest developments on there. I wanted to do one last post game show to process that loss during the national championship together. I also wanted to hand out some MVP awards to you guys and reminisce on some of the top moments from this wild season. So Monday, did not go like we wanted it to. Alabama went out there and showed us that they are the number one team in the country and our Buckeyes were exposed in ways that we just hate to see as fans. That game was painful towards the end. As much as I wanted to see our Scarlet and Gray fight back at the end and come back from being behind, I couldn't deny that the best team ended up with the trophy in the end. Congrats, Bama. I love our Buckeyes something fierce and I'm proud of the way that they kept fighting all the way to the end of the game. I'm proud of the adversity that they overcame this season. And I'm so proud that the entire team came together and played their hearts out for us this year. Thinking back to the beginning of everything, I was one who mourned the loss of the football season back in August when it was announced that it was supposed to be canceled. I remember reading a beautiful article written by Doug Maurice that talked about the potential this team had and what a shame it was that we weren't going to be able to see what could have been. In that moment, we all thought we weren't going to get to see this. But look at us. We did get to see them play and not just play, but earn themselves a spot in that national championship game. And even though we didn't get the ending we wanted, it has still been such an amazing and incredible ride. There are so many plays that we will never forget from this season. These are some of my faves. Haskell Garrett's tip pass and interception in the end zone. Sean Wade's pick six. Justin Hilliard's interception in the end zone. Julian Fleming punching the ball out after Justin Fields got intercepted. Jackson Smith Najigba's toe tapping catch in the back of the end zone. Ryan Williams just bowling over Clemson. Sermon's 331 yard game. Justin Fields throwing that touchdown to Olave after he had to go to the medical tent after that targeting hit. Justin Fields 65 yard dime to Olave. And all of Justin Fields' beautiful passes to Garrett Wilson. And all of those plays are just scratching the surface of all the amazing things we got to see out of the team this year. I am extremely grateful for our chance to see these Buckeyes play this year and I will never take another Buckeye football game for granted for the rest of my life. Next, I want to go into some MVP awards for all of you guys. This first MVP award goes to you for watching this video and to those who have watched any of my videos this year. I create these videos for you. If you are a Buckeye fan, that is. I am incredibly thankful for each and every one of you who have taken time out of your day to watch these videos. I appreciate each of you so much and your time is extremely valuable to me. You all are my number one MVP. My second MVP award goes to two users who are frequent commenters on my videos, CJ Preach and Gunblade Warrior. I sincerely appreciate all of your comments and your interaction on these videos. Next, I'd like to recognize my story sharing MVPs. Rudy Bucks, Tim Collins, Tiger W45, Dylan Freeman, Kieran Shanker, Andrew M, and my very own father. Thank you so much for sharing your stories with me and allowing me to share them with the rest of Buckeye Nation. They encapsulated moments and feelings that we've all felt 
adults and helped bring us together as Buckeye fans. And I can't not mention those guys from the Scarlet and Great Empire, Corey and Johnny. Thank you so much for the countless retweets and shout outs that you gave me on your own amazing show. There are countless others that I want to thank. Those who have interacted with me on Twitter and have messaged me before or after a game. Those who have tweets that I used in my shows. Those who have retweeted my tweets and given me shout outs. You know who you are. I sincerely appreciate it. And I value each of those conversations. To wrap things up, I am so grateful we not only got to see these players play this year, but we got to see them play and leave their hearts on the field. It was so beautiful seeing them come together to fight for the brotherhood, the chance to play, and to bring us so much joy through an incredibly tough year. I am grateful for them. I'm grateful for you, and I will never forget this season. And I look forward to connecting during the off season and during the 2021 football season. Bring it on. Until then, peace, love, and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Oh.